welcome back to the channel. My name is Khan and congratulations, you made it to station four, which is the last one. Um, before we get started, I just want to say same disclaimer as before and the same links to Andreas's video and scripts would be down in the description below. Station four was actually my first station. So instead of going one, two, three, four, my order was four, one, two, three. So station four, same thing, you get five minutes to, you know, go in, touch wherever you want in the room, um, check to see the layout and everything like that. And then the station, you get 15 minutes. So when you start the examination, a proctor will come in and watch just to make sure everything's okay. You're not putting the patient in any harm and you can always ask for views when they're there. So the station, you're going to do 78 and then after 78, you're going to get a diagnosis that they'll ask you, I don't know, like what is a dot block hemorrhage and then you can explain that. This one isn't as intensive explanation as it is in um, station one. So this is just like a really good quick fact for that. So for this station, the BIO will be set by the proctor on how bright it should be but make sure that you put it on your head and make sure it fits and everything like that so then when the five minutes is over you can just put it on and do it and the station's 15 minutes so once the 15 minutes is up um the other stations take 30 minutes so you're going to be sitting there for about 15 minutes just doing nothing um so that's okay. So the thing with this station is sometimes when you're doing 78 or 90, the patient can fog up the lens. So they do have fans in the room, making sure that a patient isn't fogging up your view. But if it gets to the point where you just feel like you can't have a view, make sure just to let them know about it and they'll let you retake it. Um, so don't panic when you they, when they're just fogging up the lens and you can't see anything because they will let you redo it. Because this is another station where you're going to be using a slit lamp, really make sure to ask if the proctor has a view. Really, really hammer that in. But yeah, this one's a pretty straightforward exam. So I'll just go ahead and get started on the video. So yeah. Okay, I'm now going to be assessing the lens. Okay, the lens look very clear. No opacities. Now I'm going to be doing retro illumination. Lens look very clear. No opacities. Oh, I can't really get the reflex to show, huh? And now I'm going to be doing 78. Okay, I see the optic disc. It is very pink, well perfused, distinct margins. And it has very good contour. I'm gonna push back a little bit to scan the posterior vitreous, which looks very clear. Now I'm going to be scanning the superior arcades. AV ratio is about A2, 3, no nicking, no tortuosity. Okay, I'm now scanning the inferior arcade. And now the nasal arcade. And the temporal arcade. And here's the macula, positive foveal reflex, flat, even pigmentation, and no hemorrhages or neovascularization anywhere within the quadrants. And now I'm going to be scanning for the anterior vitreous, which is very clear. I know don't see any shaper sign or anything, so you can sit back. Proctor, what eye would you like? Right. Okay, so go ahead and sit to the edge of your chair, please. And I'm just going to lower my chair a little bit. Can you to the right eye? Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to see if I can get this on camera. That would be really cool if we could. Okay. All right, so go ahead and look up for me, please. I'm now going to be looking at the superior. No holes, breaks, or tears. Do you see what I see? Mm -hmm. Good. And look to up to the right. I'm looking at superior temporal, no holes, breaks, or tears. And then go ahead and look up to the left. 
I also see no holes, breaks, or tears. I'm looking at superior nasal. Go ahead and look to your right. Open really big for me. Good. And looking at the temporal retina, and I see no holes, breaks, or tears. Go ahead and look to your left. Look at nasal retina, and I see no holes, breaks, or tears. Okay. And then I'm going to move. Is that okay? You moving with me? Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> go ahead and look down at my belly. Yo, how we managed to get this to work, I'm amazed. No holes, breaks, or tear at the inferior retina. You see it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Wait, okay, can you look out here on my elbow? Yeah. Okay, I am looking at inferior temporal. I see no holes, breaks, or tears. Right here. At my other elbow, looking at inferior nasal. I see no holes, breaks, or tear. Inferior nasally. One more view. I <laughs> can look, look right here at my hand. Sorry, this one's gonna be the most bright. Nadine, do you see it? Yeah. Okay, I see optic nerve. I see flat macula positive phobia reflex and no bleeding or anything in the back of the eye and everything looks very intact and healthy and that is the end <laughs> that is the end to station four <laughs>